In 1994, Kevin Carter captured a photograph during his trip to Sudan to document the ongoing civil war but little did he know that this photograph would ultimately earn him the prestigious Pulitzer Prize. Tragically, shortly after receiving this honor, he succumbed to depression. This photograph, while contributing to Carter's untimely demise, also served as a stark portrayal of the tragedy unfolding in Sudan. The photograph was taken in the early 1990s when Sudan was mired in a prolonged civil conflict. The United Nations had initiated efforts to provide assistance, establishing food centers and teaching agricultural methods to improve the country's economy. Carter, however, chose to publish the photograph in the New York Times, using it as a stark reminder of the urgency to help the people of Sudan. The image depicted a young, emaciated girl crawling toward a UN feeding center. What made this photograph especially powerful were the subtle details within it. The backdrop showed a desolate, lifeless wasteland, devoid of any signs of human activity. The harsh sun had caused prolonged droughts in Sudan, leaving the land barren. Closer to the foreground, a vulture loomed, evidently eyeing the vulnerable child. The girl, her ribs visible due to extreme malnutrition, lay paralyzed by hunger. Carter's composition created an optical illusion, making the vulture appear as large as, if not larger than, the child. The contrasting colors intensified the focus on these two central elements. This photograph and the tragic fate of its photographer underscore the immense impact a single image can have. Regrettably, Carter took his own life just three months after the photograph's publication and a week after receiving the Pulitzer Prize. Speculations surround the reasons behind his suicide, with some suggesting it could be the overwhelming fame brought by the photograph and the award, or the guilt of not aiding the child in the image. In a Time magazine article following Carter's suicide, his friends expressed their thoughts on his guilt for not helping the girl, further amplifying his internal struggles. When Carter and the newspaper published the photograph, they were well aware of its potential to disturb viewers. What made it even more haunting was the knowledge that the scene was genuine and unaltered, it depicted the harsh reality the starving child faced. The photograph aimed to draw attention to the Sudanese tragedy and prompt humanitarian action. Carter could have chosen a video but believed a photograph allowed viewers to engage their imagination, contemplating the world beyond the frame. Carter's method of capturing this heart-wrenching moment drew criticism. His dedication to getting the perfect shot led him to neglect his responsibility to help the suffering girl. His professional detachment seemed to override his human instincts and morals, leaving a lasting impact on both the world and himself. While the true reasons for Carter's suicide remain speculative, it is evident that various factors, including the backlash over the photograph, played a role. In the end, both the child and Carter suffered tragically in their own ways. Carter's suicide added another layer of notoriety to the photograph, as it invited empathy for his own tragic plight alongside the child's. Carter's mission was to shed light on the struggles of the Sudanese people, even though his life ended in tragedy. The photograph continues to stand as an enduring symbol of famine and suffering, serving as a call to action.